Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, A Walk on the Dark Side. A Walk on the Dark Side. And some individuals look for any excuse, any excuse to walk on the dark side. Whether they are stealing, lying, murdering with their tongue or murdering with their hands. Any excuse to pick up a gun, to pick up a knife, to use their fists, to hurt someone, to kill someone. A walk on the dark side to experience hallucinations, to feel empowered in some kind of way. Taking a sip of this, a drink, a needle. A snort. They just want to disappear from their existence a bit. They don't want a light shined on their devious, sinful lifestyle. Matter of fact, don't call it bad. Don't call it ugly. Don't call it wrong. We're just having fun, they say. A walk on the dark side. A walk on the dark side with a gentleman or a lady behind closed doors only to leave out of that atmosphere feeling sick to your stomach feeling sore feeling used feeling abused oh yes they want to walk on the dark side when I've just heard a little bit in the spirit not much about this subject The Holy Spirit said that there are times where God allows this sort of thing to happen. He allows them to walk on the dark side because he does this because man hasn't chosen him, because man has rejected him. Man has pushed him away. Man is rebellious. No, uh uh-uh. No, I don't want anything to do with God, spirituality, faith, Christians, Honesty, love, light. No, I just want to walk on the dark side. And it always starts off fun, doesn't it? Until somebody gets hurt. Until something churns someone's stomach. Until somebody is going through a number of issues. Until someone bribes someone about what they know about them. Now it's not so fun. Why walk on the dark side to begin with? Well... Sometimes it's simply curiosity. I know for me over the years, it was curiosity. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to know some things, right? I was that type of child that it wasn't good enough to tell me don't do. I had to go over there and see why is there a don't in front of do. Some of us, that's just who we are. It's in our makeup. We got to be curious. We got to feed that natural instinct to want to know. But then some of us, we're not like that at all. Mm -mm. Nope. We don't want to feed anything. We take don't do for what it is. Don't do. And so we don't. But we didn't always get to that place. We had to go through some fires in our life to learn not to do something. We had to listen to some folks tell us their sob stories for us to say, you know what? That's enough for me. I don't think I want to go down that path. Oh, but the people who want to walk on the dark side, some of them, it's not even about curiosity. It's about running from the light, the light that hurt them, the light that destroyed them, the light that was supposed to be light, but was really not light. And so in their ignorance, rather than seeing that there are those deceptive folks, those pretenders out there, they just stay clear away from anything that is good, that is righteous, that is of the Lord. Nope, I'm walking on the dark side because this is where I feel most comfortable. This is where people say they love me. And even if they don't really love me, oh, well, I like what comes from them. I like the feeling. Oh, but that feeling is so temporal, isn't it? That feeling, it's just for the moment. And then we all got to get up and go to work the next day. Or we all got to get up and do the same old, same old. And it's back to the routine. And it's no fun when you don't have some people around you to make it fun. It's no fun when everybody is after something or something. It's no fun when the crowds are so, so 
<sighs> overwhelming. It's no fun when the alcohol is watered down. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on now. We wasn't always saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled when the adult sits down and talks to the young person about why it's not a good idea to walk on the dark side, whatever that dark side is. They're doing it oftentimes because they've been there, done it, seen a movie, and it didn't render many results. But negativity, confusion, it wasn't. Very positive at all. Don't go over there with that boy. Why? Because all that boy wants is some sex. Nope. The girl who is so strung out and so head over heels in love. She going to go over there anyway. Just because you said don't. Unless you can give her something to take her mind off of that boy. And a lot of times what happens. Parents, they don't even think that deeply. Because they are so far removed from what they did in the past that they forget about how girls obsess over boys. They forget about how they want to go somewhere and do this and do that because daddy just didn't seem to understand, didn't want to sit down and talk to her and answer her questions, didn't want to come over and give her a hug and a kiss and tell her it's okay and all right, of course, an appropriate hug and kiss. Nope. He pushed her away and so, oh, well, you don't care for me. You don't like me. You don't act like you even wanted a daughter. So I'm going to go over here where there's boys that like me. And even if they don't love me, so what? At least I'm getting the attention. A walk on the dark side. And that boy who's deceptive, who's charming, who's nice but evil, who's ugly in so many different ways, but oh, well, he sounds nice. Because girls, they tend to appeal to sound just like women do. I like, oh, well, he's not all that, but he's got a nice voice. And oh, well, he's not very tall, but at least he does act like he cares about me where those other boys. And so off she goes. And if she's not careful, she ends up being pregnant when she doesn't want to be pregnant. If she's not careful, she ends up getting a sexually transmitted disease. If she's not careful, she ends up being used and abused by the very one who claimed that he loved her so much. A walk on the dark side. A walk on the dark side caused some people to go to their graves prematurely. A walk on the dark side caused some people to end up in jail. And some of us, we are trying to keep people from walking on the dark side. But they don't want to hear what we have to say. They shut us up or shut us out. Don't ruin our fun. But the enemy is right around the bend. The enemy is setting you up. The enemy doesn't love you or like you. The enemy wants to kill you, fool. Come over here. Stay with us. And they go off down that dark path. Only to come back. Some, maybe not all. Only to come back broken, defeated, upset. Why did God let this up? Oh, be quiet. God didn't let this happen. You chose that path. You chose it. Don't blame God for things that you chose. We tried to tell you that that man is nothing more than a player. We tried to warn you that those children that you refused to parent in the way that God wants you to parent is going to grow up to be nothing but problems. And you see it. And now you come back and you say, Jesus, help me. Somebody help me. Pray for me. A walk on the dark side. We see so many people on and off the Internet. Flirting with this thing and that thing, talking to this one and that one, studying under this false teacher and that one, reading this terrible material that is not of light but of darkness, being deceived once again. What does one have to do? As I said in so many audio, confess sin, repent. Be, be reminded that your way is not the right way and stay away from it. Stay away from the sin. Change your mind on the sin. Walk according to the will of the Lord rather than of the flesh. The flesh, the flesh keeps us enslaved mentally, physically, and spiritually. The flesh 
is why some people can't seem to lose weight. The flesh is why some people can't seem to stay in a relationship longer than days, weeks, months. The flesh is why some people are so far away from the Lord. The flesh, the flesh, the flesh. It's too many people operate with their five senses rather than operating with the sense that God gave them. This is just one of those little pep talk kind of messages. You can do whatever you want with it. Share it across the internet or what have you. But somebody needed to hear this today to be reminded that that temptation that you have to want to walk on a dark side, whether it's drugs, alcohol, whether it's a relationship with someone, even though you're already with someone. Stealing, cheating, whatever it is that you're flirting with, just don't do it. It's real simple. Just say no. Find a way out. God gives us an escape out of tempting situations. A walk on the dark side has murdered people. A walk on the dark side has caused people to lose their minds where their senses don't come back. A walk on the dark side has turned what was once a Christian into nothing more than a reprobate man. A walk on the dark side where one was headed toward heaven is now headed toward hell. A walk on the dark side confuses, uses, and abuses. Just say no. And say yes to the one true God. Say yes to Jesus, his son who died on the cross. Get around the like-minded, those that believe like you do in Jesus. Read your word. And even if those people in the past offended you, that was those people in the past. God says, what about now? What about now? There are so many that aren't those people from the past who hurt. There are so many who want to love. But they are constantly being rejected because people are ignorant, because people are unforgiving, because people are unrighteous, because people want to remain on the dark side. Thank you, as always, for taking time out of your busy schedule to listen. You've been listening to YouTube NM Enterprise 7. Subscribe today. Also, if you haven't given, we do welcome donations and blessings to you.